name is Lieutenant Michael Ray. I'm the Assistant Director of Medical Operations and Planning. And here in Cambodia, in addition to that, I was also the Assistant Officer in Charge of MedCap 3. We had four MedCaps in Cambodia, comprised of 50 personnel each. Uh, MedCap 3, we actually had eight additional host nation medical de defense representatives uh, to help us out. Uh, we were spread geographically across Cambodia, and we saw about 12,000 patients between the four different MedCap sites. All right, every MedCap is divided into four categories, adult medicine, pediatrics, dental, and optometry. And depending on the site and the, the way their day goes, uh, they're going to see anywhere between 500 to 1,000 patients a day. We actually had one site that saw uh, 1,114 in one day. Uh, I think the mission in Cambodia was a huge success, partly because of the, just the vast number of patients that had access to care and only wouldn't have it. And just the things that they were able to, to talk about, see with U.S. physicians and our counterparts, uh, was access that they wouldn't have anywhere else. And um, Pacific Partnership brings that to these countries, and I think it's a good thing. Hi, my name is Chief Scotty Bayless. I'm here with the uh, Cell and Echelon CBs from ACB1. Uh, while we were in Cambodia, we worked on uh, one four-bedroom maternity clinic and two four-bedroom maternity clinics uh, in three different locations throughout Cambodia. I, I think any time that you can go into a country, uh, build a building, and you know pass it on to the locals so that they have something that they can use to benefit the, the local the local populace is great. You know, and it's it's great to be able to go in and actually see the product that we're doing from the start to finish. You know, a lot of the other stuff that we do on this mission. You know, you don't get to actually see what you're doing right in front of you, see the completion of it and how it affects the people. Uh, my name is Hela Husko. I'm a Danish veterinarian. I'm the team lead for World Vets and Volunteers. In Cambodia, we had two different uh, vet caps. So the first vet cap was um, a great vet cap where the, we had nine local veterinarians involved and trained them to uh, vaccinate their cattle and to train them into doing surgery in dogs and cats. And the second red cap was divided into two, so half of the team would have a surgical clinic every day and the rest of the team would have a remote uh, clinic that would go around to treat the cattle and dogs and cats. Uh, it was definitely a success because we uh, strengthened their uh, capabilities here in the country. Hi, I'm Hospital Corpsman 3rd Class Stephen Matthews. I'm a surgical tech here on the USNS Mercy. We just finished up here in Cambodia. We accomplished approximately 219 surgical cases and treated hundreds of patients here at our surge caps. I believe our time here in Cambodia was a success because working together with our host nations, NGOs, and our medical students, all our training really worked well together. You could see how even though different countries may separate us, that our training is all the same and that when put together we can accomplish the mission.